So which is harder, this or this? If you think Greg is harder, then think again, because our routine can clear consistently. But why so many videos suggest pulling students for Greg? That's because Minori team has a major issue. No one is talking about. So in this video, I'll show you what that issue is, why so many people struggle in this raid, and show you the easy way for casual to clear Greg. First let's go over the basic. Greg has red armor and blue attack, which bans half of your red striker students. That's why in Aru team, you used to tanks. This situation is similar to the last Kite and Insane Clear, where you need Sukio or Tiyuka to keep S. Hoshino alive. This used to be an issue for our team, but that's for another video. Now that doesn't mean you can use Red Armor students, but you'll need a healer to keep them alive. With Minori's team, you need all the damage you can get, so you also need Najisa, since both of them are special students. That means you can't just use any healer. You need a striker healer. However, Kakona and Timori has blue armor. While Kakona is single target, Timori healing range is limited. So if you don't have Rumi, you only have Kawaru left. While well, she's free, that means you need to clear with only one team. Just like how you only have one chance to do your final exam. If you fail, then see you again next semester. The second issue is Minori herself. She's a special student, so you can't buff her with Oko and Himari. While her sub-skill can be useful, giving one-third of S. Hoshino buff, it's not enough. You'll encounter this issue in the final phase of Greg, where you need to finish the boss under one minute. For Minori team, if you don't invest enough. In this case, I used UE40 Minori. Now Wes Mirko, you'll fail in this phase. I spent three days testing different teams with UE40 Minori. None of them can finish Greg within one team, and I am not alone. The more people fail to execute this last phase, the more videos Apparently, will say, one of the hardest raid boss in the game. Then recommend you pulling students for Greg. I'm not saying that this is right or wrong, but Minori team requires many gacha students. Which brings us to Mina and Soki. Yes, they are so similar that even their armor type are the same. However, Swimsuit Soki is more popular for Insane Clear. Instead of decreasing evasion and accuracy, like Mina, S. Soki decreases defense and crit resistance, which is more useful because Greg has 1000 defense. Maintaining your debuff stats is quite important in Greg. If you don't debuff Greg enough, your team takes more damage. The more debuffs you have, the less damage your team takes. Just don't stack above 7 debuffs in Insane, because that will increase the damage your team takes. So if you can only pull one, pull Swimsuit Soki. Because while Minna Evasion and Accuracy buff might seem useful, I've never seen her in my PvP brackets. Minna also uses a hairpin, so her evasion is even lower than Suboki, who uses a bag with no evasion skill. On the other hand, while Mina's attack buff gives her 1 million extra damage, just note that clearing 30 million HP of Greg is really hard, unless you have more students with day buff to run two teams. It's like you've got this really fancy car. However, if it has no gasoline, there is no way you can reach your destination. Sure, if there is a gas station nearby, then you can find some ways to get your car there. But if the nearest one is 30 kilometers away, you might as well find another transportation. By buffing Minori and Najisa, S. Soki can help you achieve one team clear easier. But if you want to use Mina, better do a few practice runs first, because there aren't many Greg in saying clear with Mina. However, if you have Rumi, then it's a different story. She's the second striker healer with heavy armor, which allows you to run a second team easily. She's also the only healer striker right now that gets extra healing at UE40. So her healing is even higher than Timori and 5k higher than Kawaru. Her ex can remove debuff, but unlike Natsu and Racer, who can do the job of two students. If you use Rumi, you still need a tank to bait the damage, so you are still using two students to deal with the laser day buff. In short, she's not a must-have. However, she'll be useful if you want to run a DPS team with no racer and Natsu in torment. That's because if you don't clear the laser day buff in torment, your student's attack will be reduced by 50%. 
and maybe she will be useful in the upcoming raid. Because if you haven't noticed, all of the recent purple attack students have heavy armor. If you're lucky enough to get her, you can run team two of Greg easily. Just make sure you satisfy the day buff condition and have another DPS like Mage Yuzu or Sire to run team two. So the whole point of this video is, why force yourself to run one team only, when you can run two, but similar to real life, no matter how many times you take your finals. If you don't prepare enough, or in this case, have no day buff students in the team, the result will be the same. That's the issue with Minori team. Since her team usually has lots of gacha students, there is a high chance you'll need to borrow them, which means you can't borrow a day buff student for your second team. That's not too bad. Until you realize you can just use Serena for a comfy team too. As long as you have a student with 3 debuffs, like S Socket, to day buff Greg. However, if you can't borrow all the students, it takes time to test your team. It's similar to baking. You don't know if you've put in salt or sugar until you've finished baking. So if you pick the wrong Minori team, it won't work. Because the starting ingredient is wrong, like how a cake with salt or sugar never tastes the same. If you have played for a while, then Aru and Mini team is cheaper, because except for our Harmacist, you use the rest in almost every red rates. So even if you fail your rotation a bit, you still have a Soki or others to run team to. However, if you have no other choice, pick the most suitable Minori team, and put the same investment into your students. The issue here is, you hardly use Minori elsewhere. And while Minori has an accuracy buff, she can still miss all her skills. So try to pick a team with students that are worth in the long run, or just pull Esmirka. Next event, we're drawing cards again. Like the name suggests, you draw cards and get rewards here. There are four types of cards in this event. However, there is no student to farm this time, so which card you draw doesn't matter much you're still guaranteed to get at least one Essa card in four cards. And starting at 200, the cost of each card will go up by 10 each time, ending at 230 for the fourth card. So here are two efficient ways to draw cards. You can do single draw only for 200 each card. Pull to less a card only, for a balanced income of EXP and credits. At the end of December, we have another farming event. So save 1540 of these PvP tokens to prepare in advance. If you want more of these tokens instead, check out this video.